hey everyone welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing great it's the first day of the first year and i'm so happy to say happy new year to everyone who are out there and you know who's watching this video 2021 was indeed a crisis for everyone at some point and we understand we have learned some lessons from our last year and it's time to bring these you know lessons that we have learned it's time to improve them in this year and just enjoy with your family, bring happiness and joy and yeah, just keep moving forward, you know, bring success to your life. Anyways, let's move on, on to today's video. But before I move on, as usual, if you are new to my channel and you don't know what is this channel about, then I make videos regarding to Discord, tips, tricks, and tutorials from the very basic level to advanced level. So if you are someone new to Discord or if you've been using Discord for a while and you would like to improve your server or something else, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I make videos related to these kind of stuffs. So anyways, let's move on to today's topic. Now, today's topic is actually about using the QR code, which has to do with login. So there is a login QR code within Discord itself, and we are going to talk about this. Now, Discord made login system easier. You know, we usually have to go in to Discord and we type in our email or, you know, phone number and then password, and then you log into your account. Now, Discord made this a little bit easier where if you are having the Discord application on your phone and you would like to log in on your desktop, then you can simply log in by scanning your QR code from desktop towards within your phone itself and you're going to get logged in automatically. Now, how this works, I'm going to explain everything in deep details, so stay focused. Now, to let this happen, the first thing you need to do is have a Discord application installed on your phone. Once you install, you can get access towards the QR code scanning section, which is available on both Android and iOS. And to get access, you can head over to Discord app, open your user setting menu, and then choose the scan QR code option. While on the other hand, you will need to open the desktop application, which will be asking for the email and password, but on the right right side you will be seeing a QR code which will be asking you to scan this on your Discord mobile application to log in instantly. Do keep in mind that these QR codes only work for 2 minutes so if you have the desktop app open for more than 2 minutes and you're trying to log in using the same QR code, it's not really going to work. You basically have to restart the application or refresh it if you're on browser. So. It's just for the safety. Also keep in mind you can also scan the QR code using any application that supports QR scanning, which includes the camera app on many devices. You'll get a quick shortcut to the Discord app for the final scanning and approval. So once you have logged in, once you have scanned your, the QR code, you will be asked to verify that this is actually you trying to log in to a different you know, desktop. So you'll get a screen on your mobile application, which you can see on the screen at the moment, which will be asking you to verify that this is actually you trying to log in to a different desktop application. You'll receive a verification, which will show you a verification message asking you that this is actually you trying to log into a different desktop on Discord application. Now you need to approve and once you approve, you can start using Discord app on that new device. And when you want to log out, out, that's very simple you just head over to the user setting and then log out of the application itself in which you can go all the way down i have specifically made a video on how to log out you can check it out in the description below now as you remember i have mentioned that qr codes only last for two minutes if you don't scan the qr code you generate within two minutes you'll need to generate a new qr code to log in successfully so again just refresh the login page or restart the desktop app and you'll get the you know the login qr scan as well with this i would also like to give some safety tips which you need to keep in mind now you have complete full control over your application on both device and you know phone and desktop and as well on your login system in two different ways 
do you know that even if you have scanned a QR code that's open on Discord app by mistake, you can prevent the login attempt happen right away. Now what I mean with this is that previously on Discord there used to be a scam where people would randomly DM you and say you have won a Discord Nitro sending you with a QR code which you have to scan within the Discord application itself. Now, once you scan, you're basically giving them the access to your account on their desktop, which then they can have access to your account through their desktop and use it or basically hack it. And you want to prevent this happening. So never approve a QR code login that you never really generate yourself. If you've been sent a QR code by someone else that opened the login verification screen on your you know, mobile application, hit cancel right away because you still have the chance to prevent those scammers from stealing your account. Now, if you have approved a login access by accident, then the only way to prevent those other scammers from getting access to your account is by changing the Discord password. And most importantly, don't forget that any QR code login attempt needs to be approved by you before it goes through. So just keep an eye on the verification screen. If there's someone who's trying to scam you and you have accidentally, you know, scanned it and you want to cancel it right away, you can just cancel it at the same moment. So just keep in mind if someone you don't know is asking you to log in using a QR code, then they may be trying to, you know, scam you and steal your account. Anyways, that's all for today. I also realized on my previous video, the screen was kind of short. It's like smaller, more zoomed out. I realized that I, I after I uploaded actually. So, you know, I've been editing it so much that I did not really even realize that I was editing it with the same size of the video. So I hope that was totally fine. The main information that I was trying to spread out is probably in your mind by now. And I hope this video was also helpful. If you really found it helpful, then make sure to leave a like and share it to as many people as much possible. This is probably helpful for new people who are trying to understand what is this new QR login scanning system when you're trying to log into your Discord account. So anyways, thank you for watching and enjoy your new year.